Welcome to Studio Lighting Techniques in Maxwell Render. My name is James Coleman and I'm the Maxwell Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology. Welcome back. In this video I'll be creating new materials and applying them to the object in the scene. This is a very basic setup, so we'll need very basic materials, only a couple of them. So, without further ado, right click in the Materials Manager and select New Material. Double click to open up the Material Editor and I'm going to change the preview scene from default preview down to stage one and click the refresh icon. And this is the material as it looks at the moment and I want to change a couple of things about this. Firstly is the reflectant zero which is the overall color. I'll we'll click in the grey box and I want to change my color mode to hue saturation value and then change the value to 225. That's going to be white but it's not going to be pure white 255 and the reason is 255 doesn't really work very well in Maxwell Render. It's quite noisy and it's not a very realistic value. 225 is pretty much as white as the real world gets. The second thing I need to change about this material is the roughness. You'll never find a roughness value of 100 in the real world. Nothing is purely diffuse. So I need to change my roughness value to 95. And then I'm going to refresh my preview and that's my first material. Time to make my second material, and this is going to be an emitter. So right click in the Materials Manager and select New Emitter. And I'm not going to do anything to this material other than change the preview scene to emitter underscore 02m, or emitter 2 meters, and refresh so I can see what it looks like. OK, close down these windows. And then I need to just apply these materials to the objects. Now emitter is going to go on left, right, and the top. And you can see there I just drag and drop the emitter from the materials manager to the objects manager. And my other material is going to go on the knot and on the infinity curve. And again good work practice dictates that I should change the name of these materials. So select it and press return, diffuse, return, down, and emitter can stay as emitter for now. And now if I click the big orange fire button, I should be able to see what my scene looks like. And I can hold Alt and left click to have a look around. And you can see in my fire window, my interactive preview window, that it's quite dark. And we'll be changing this in our next video, which is camera setup. See you then. For more information about support, consultation and mentoring in CAD and Maxwell Render at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology, email maxwellrenderbrightoncdt at gmail.com.